Hey guys, Asian Sleepy here with some more pickups. Yesterday I went out to the village in my favorite game store. We'll start off with the stuff from the village. I didn't find very much there. They had a lot of uh, sports titles. I swear those things just multiply in their showcase. But I did find a little stack of PS1 games that were buried under some DVDs. First one I picked up was Wipeout 3. It's black label. The case and manual and disc are in excellent shape. $1.50 for that. I got VIP starring Pamela Anderson. I forgot she had her own game. This one's also in great shape. $1.50 for that. I got Space Jam. Loved this movie as a kid. And uh, this game's pretty fun. Plays a lot like NBA Jam. You guys should definitely check it out. It's in great shape. It's complete. That was a buck fifty. I got Omega Boost. Another black labeled game. Uh, haven't played it yet. Looks kind of cool. Says it's from the creators of Gran Turismo. It's in great shape. It's complete. That was a buck fifty. I got Ball Breakers. I thought that was a funny title for a game, calling it Ball Breakers. Looks kind of neat. I'm gonna play it after I make this video. See how it is. It's complete. That was a buck fifty. Got another copy of Tekken Three. It's greatest hits. If anyone's interested, this is available for trade. I already have one. It's in great shape. That was a buck fifty. And the last game I got there was Gex. It's black label, and this is available for trade. I already have it, so if anyone's interested, let me know. It's in great shape. It's complete, and that was a buck fifty. All right, we'll move on to the stuff from the uh, game store. I got a one Game Boy Advance game while I was there, and that was Codename Kids Next Door Operation Soda. It's boxed. It's in pretty good shape. It's complete. That's the game with the little baggie and the manuals. And that was two bucks. Got one NES title while I was there, and it's one I didn't have. And that was Robocop 2. It's in excellent shape. Really clean cart. Pins aren't dirty at all. Had a cool dust sleeve. Got that for three bucks. Got some N64 titles. The first couple here were free. First one was uh, Dark Rift. This cartridge is terrible shape. It's really beat to hell. But it plays fine, and it was free, so I'm not going to pass up a free game. Got a copy of Madden Football 64 for free. I uh, picked this up for uh, 49er Nation 1. It's in good shape. That was free. Got a copy of Madden 2000, another uh, Madden game that was free. The back label's a little beat up, but it's just a Madden game. It was free, so I don't care. I needed it for the collection. And the last two free games I got were two copies of Madden 99. One for me, and I got one for 49er Nation 1. They're both in good shape. Worked fun. Alright, now let's move on to what I paid for. First game I got was WWF Warzone for the Nintendo 64. It's in pretty good shape. I already have this, so this is available for trade. And the only thing really wrong with it is Hollywood Video engraved their name on the back. But if anyone's interested, it's up for trade. Got that for a buck. I got War Gods for the Nintendo 64. I remember I used to like this game as a kid, so I'm glad to have it. It's in decent shape. Got that for a buck. Got two copies of uh, Hybrid Heaven. They're both in pretty good shape. I just have to remove some marker from this one. And they're both a dollar. And this one's available for trade, so if anyone's interested, let me know. I got Automobili Lamborghini. Remember, I liked this game as a kid, so glad to have it again. Cartridge is really nice. Got that for a buck. Got a copy of Mission Impossible. This cartridge is, uh, practically looks brand new. Got that for two bucks. Got Forsaken 64. Another uh, cartridge that's in good shape. Game I didn't have. Glad to have it. Two bucks. Got Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life. It's in uh, good shape. Just have to remove some marker on the back. That was two bucks. And the last 64 game I picked up from him was Power Rangers Light Speed Rescue. It's in great shape. And that was two dollars. All right, we'll move on to this stack of games here. I also got a couple things for free. Uh, the first thing was this collector's coin for Pokemon Ruby. If you rub your finger on the coin, it turns uh, green, and you can see a picture of this red guy. This was given up to people who pre-ordered the game. It's uh, not in the best shape. It's a little wrinkled, a little stained, but it was free, so that was cool. 
Also got a manual for uh, Saints Row 1 for 360 for free. If anyone needs this, let me know. It's available for trade. And I got one PS2 game for free, and that was Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. The cover had a lot of marker on it that I removed, and there was also some on the actual insert. And the disc had some marker on it that I removed, cleaned up nice. It's missing a manual, but the game works fine, and not bad for free. Picked up uh, two uh, Madden titles here for 49er Nation 1. The first one I got was Madden 2004. It's in great shape. It's complete. That was a buck. And the other one I got him was Madden 2005. It's missing a manual, but the disc's nice. And that was a dollar. I got Disney's Tarzan Untamed. It's in great shape. It's complete. And that was a dollar. Picked up Ford Racing 3. Pretty fun little uh, racing title. I need to get the first two Ford Racing games. It's complete. Got that for $2. Got a Mass Effect bonus disc for the Xbox 360. Has says pre-order your copy today. So I'm uh, guessing that they gave this out when you pre-ordered the game. It's pretty cool. It comes with the documentaries, gamer pictures, images, three songs from the Mass Effect soundtrack, and some trailers and some demos, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it had a manual or not, but the disc is in nice shape, and I got that for two dollars. Thought it would go nice with my Mass Effect. Got some 007 games for uh, PS2. First one is 007 Agent Under Fire. Pretty cool game. It's complete. Paid $3 for that. I got 007 Nightfire uh, starring Pierce Brosnan. Pretty cool. It's in great shape. That was 3 bucks. And the other 007 game I got was Everything or Nothing. Also starring Pierce Brosnan. Really happy to get these. I'm a big James Bond fan and I trying to pick up all the games, so I was glad to get it. It's also complete. Pay three bucks for that. Got Call of Duty Finest Hour. Another game I needed for my collection. I've got it on Xbox, so I probably won't play this one. It's missing the manual. Pay three bucks for that. I got Alias. Haven't played it yet, but I look forward to playing it today. See how it is. It is complete. Pay three bucks for that. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of Roses. I know a 49er Nation 1 just picked this up. I paid uh, $2 for this, and it's not complete, however. It's missing the three uh, cards, so I hope I can find them sometime. But the manual's there. The disc's nice. That was 3 bucks. I got Rainbow Six Lockdown. Pretty cool game. I love the Rainbow Six games, and there's quite a few out there, so I've got a long way to go as far as getting them all. This one's complete. I paid 3 bucks for that. I got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I love the Prince of Persia games. They're really awesome. And I didn't have this one, so I'm glad to have it. It is complete. And that was three bucks. Got The Thing for Xbox. Awesome game. You guys should check it out. If you love the movie, you'll like the game. It's really fun. It is complete. That was three bucks. I got uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars and Tetris World. I'm glad to have this uh, again. I used to have this uh, actual uh, dual pack here. It came packaged with my uh, original Xbox. has both manuals and the disc is in nice shape. That was four bucks. I got Star Wars Starfighter Special Edition. Pretty cool. I have Starfighter on the PS2, but I didn't have the Special Edition version. It says it has some extra stuff that's exclusive to the Xbox, so that's pretty cool. It is complete. I paid four dollars for that. And the last game I got from him, I was really happy to find, was Silent Hill 4: The Room. I'm trying to get all the Silent Hill games, and this was one on the list, so I'm glad to have it. Not the best in the series, but still a decent game. It's complete, and that was five bucks. All right, guys, that's all my pickups so far. I'll be going out again uh, this weekend, and if I find anything, you guys know we'll be putting up another video. I want to say thanks for watching. And thanks for all the support, guys. You guys have been amazing. All right. Take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time.